Hey guys, Anthony here. It's uh, Monday, May 30th, 2016. It's Memorial Day. And um, I've got the latest section of my bug out bicycle hooked up just to show you guys um, what it is. <clears throat> it's basically one of those pet carriers that can be used for towing pets via your bicycle, which hooks up here. Um, or you can push it like a, you know, like you go jogging with it as well. So right now, as you can see, I've got Teddy and Charlotte in it. And it's got plenty of room. It holds up to 75 pounds. Okay, guys, take it easy. Um, got it on Amazon. And it's a great little addition to the Iberia pack that goes on here. Okay, buddy, what's the matter? I'm just filming. One second, then we'll get going again. These guys love riding. So we're going to ride a little more, then we'll stop and film some, okay? But it gives me the ability now to transport a lot more gear if I had to. And um, you could load that with a tent and some essentials and get on the road. And Teddy wants to go. You guys want to say hello? Yeah, come here. Charlotte and Teddy, you guys say hello to everybody. Where's the zipper? Come on, here. You guys say hello. Don't get out. Here, we got the weather radio going. We got our backpack. On board. And we are gonna go for a little ride and see how this works out. Go into town. Do some more filming. Here I just got a doggy bowl and some water. Small survival kit in here. And a tire. Change of tire. Okay, we're ready to go. Here he is, look at a little turtle. Here he is. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Yeah, you're interested, aren't you? Go call your friends, we'll get you some food later. Okay? Don't let Teddy and Charlotte see them, Mrs. B. This stuff rolls down for waterproofing. Uh, water resistance when you're riding. Otherwise, you can keep the screens open. This is at 10:35 a.m. Bonnie becomes a post-tropical cyclone. Potential for additional heavy rainfall continues over the country. And it's just a quick unhook here. And this whole piece unhooks, and um, the bolt stays on the bike. And you just store your your little carriage there, or you could remove this bar also and use it just for pushing if you went to the mall or something. So we're going to go into town and uh, see how this uh, backpack works out.
Hey guys, one of the things I'm doing is just riding through the busy area of uh, this urban area here and just seeing how I um, how the bike holds up, how the backpack on the back of the uh, carrier holds up and um, just test out, you know, your gear. So this is one way to do it. This is one way to get around town without schlepping a backpack on my back, uh, taking it with me though, and uh, also, uh, you know, having my bike to get a greater distance, uh, to go a greater distance. So, beauty of South Florida. All right, guys, I stopped for a break here on the side of the road. I'll just give you a little idea where I am. I'm off of a main road here in Fort Lauderdale. <clears throat> I'm off on the sidewalk here and what I'm doing is I'm just testing out how the bike uh, goes on and off the sidewalks and the various ramps that are here in order to, to avoid riding in the side of the street where I don't want to ride today because uh, there's a lot of traffic. So, so far everything's holding up good. There's the bag or the pack. This is my outdoor products pack that I just did a hurricane video on. Um, sitting inside there, uh, no problems at all. I probably want to move it a little bit towards the back so it's more over the um, two rear tires there. But again, it's not, does not exceed the weight of this uh, carrier. This carrier says it can handle 75 pounds at least, you know, a large dog. So it is doing good. My weather radio is just clipped to the front of the basket here. It's no problem. Hasn't been an issue with it trying to fall off or anything. There's my bell or my signal. And there's my light. Bug out bicycle set. Had one issue with this um, carrier, one of the tires went bad, but we called the company and they sent us a whole new tire. I just popped off the old one, popped on the new one today. Gonna try to see what's wrong with the old one. Maybe I could fix it and uh, have a spare. Um, so that's one uh, good thing. If I could fix that, I'll have a spare. I also changed the flat in the back tire here of my Trek. I had some issues with it. Um, I ended up puncturing one of the tubes, putting it back in. So I had to go buy another tube at Walmart. And I got that installed this morning on the back tire here. So I finally learned how to change a flat on my bicycle, which I never did before. Just having a little water break here. I was thinking of driving up to Starbucks and getting a um, getting a, um, a cold drink up there. Uh, we'll see how busy it is up that way. I do recommend wearing a helmet, as I said in my other bicycle video a while back. Um, I had a, a, a friend a couple years ago that was out with his kids, and I think I told this story before. And um, he was just out riding around with his son, and he went off a curb or whatever, his side of his tire hit the curb, and um, he hit his head and nearly killed himself. So not only will your helmet protect you from uh, falling, but in, on the way here, there was a couple really low-lying branches that my head hit. You know, if there was a storm and you were riding in it and trying to get from point A to point B, you could possibly get hit in the head with debris, get hit in the eyes with something. So a good pair of glasses 
and uh, helmet, very important. So let's get back on the road and uh, we'll continue uh, in a minute. All right, guys, we reached our destination. So what I could do with this bike carrier is just tear off the top Velcro lining there. I could grab my bag right by the handle here and I should be able to pull it right up with one hand. There we go. There's the inside of the um, carrier. It's got a soft cushion there for the dogs, uh, but you could easily put a, um, you know, a piece of plywood or something in there to get a little more rigid and um, put your gear on. And then there's my bag. So all in all, we rode a couple of miles. Everything worked out fine. So we're going to continue to test this, uh, take it out again later, maybe tonight, and go to some more areas. So that's the uh, setup right now. And it's working out great. Highly recommended. It's pretty low tech. And it can get your gear and you to point A, point A to point B a lot faster than you can maybe hoofing it. Thanks for watching. Questions, comments, always appreciated.